Lift your hands. Lift up toward heaven. Open your mouth and holler loud again. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Say it yes, I love you, Jesus. Come on, one more time. I love you, Jesus. Now, applaud God for what he's doing. Come on. Now. Go Church of God in Christ. 
You don't say his name. Now we're going to test this. It might work. I going to say, what's wrong with Pastor Simmons? You're going to say, he's all right. I'm going to say, who said so? And everybody going to say, we do. What's wrong with Pastor Adrian Simmons? He's all right. Who said so? We do. We're going to try one more time. I want Faith Temple to hear what y'all say. What's wrong with Pastor Adrian Simmons? He's all right. Who said so? We do. I want New Jerusalem to hear y'all. What's wrong with Pastor Adrian Simmons? What's wrong with Pastor Adrian Simmons? He's all right. Who said so? We do. Now I'm not going to let Evangel be here. <laughs> Come on, let's give this pastor a great gift. Wonderful. Amen. Thank you, man. I'm so glad he was allowed to come here too. First Lady Simmons. Yeah. Come on, give it to her. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Good pastor needs a good wife. Amen. 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 A good wife is from the Lord. The Bible says, "Proof wife yes. is from the Lord." Yes. Yes. Everything else comes from Walmart. And <laughs> 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 yeah, what about the mother of the pastor? Amen. Amen. There's no retirement over here. Be thou faithful unto 
unto them. Amen. Amen. So we don't quit on here. We don't give up. Amen. We hang on in there. That's right. Amen. We work until the day is yeah, done. Done. Amen. And I firmly believe that. Amen. I firmly believe that we go until we just can't go no more. Amen. Amen. Right. St. Mark 5. If I can get a reader for that. I'm glad to be here on Family and Friends Day. One more time. Praise God. Yeah. It's good to have family. And it's good to have friends. Yes, it is. Now, day like it is always, not just day like today, but it's always been that way. Praise God. You have to choose your friend. Choose your friend. Yes, I And that's the choice you make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't get a choice with family. No. You don't get to choose who your mama going to be. No. Yeah. You don't get to choose who your daddy going to be. Amen. You born here. Huh? Amen. Amen. St. Mark 5, 25 to 29 is a very familiar story. And we're going to talk just a little bit today, this morning, in your hearing, about a time, time to make the right connection. Praise God. Look at somebody that said, time to make the right connection. Can I get a reader for these verses in the King James Version of the Bible? Please don't give me all this other stuff. And a certain woman. A certain woman. Do I have any certain women in here? Be certain about yourself. Know who you are. Know your name. Yeah. Hello, yeah. honey. You know your address. Yeah. You can count your fingers. You can count your toes. Yeah. A certain woman. Which had an issue of blood 12 years. Three. And had suffered many things to many positions. And had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, and touched his garment, for he, for she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Amen. Amen. And straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Yeah. Everybody said, thank the Lord. Yeah. You may be seated, look at your neighbor and say, a time. Yeah. Or just say, time. Yeah. To make the right connection. To make the right connection. Mm -hmm. Amen. Time. Do what? Make, make the right connection. In life, we make a lot of connections. Hello? We connect with this, we connect with that. Uh -huh. In the world, it is said, it's not who you know, but what you know. Mm -hmm. But we live in a day now where uh, it's not what you know, but it's who you know. Mm -hmm. Some people have connected with the wrong thing. Amen. Connected with the wrong person. Uh -huh. Hello, somebody affiliate with the wrong situation circumstances and wrong affiliations and it's got them messed up down the road. Huh? They did the opposite of what Psalm 1 says. Psalm 1 says, do not take counsel from thee. <laughs> Stay out of the way of sinners and don't sit in the seat of the Whoa, But when you make the right connection, your delight is in the law of the Lord. Yeah. Do I have anybody in the evangelistic church Amen. of God in Christ this morning who loves the law of the Lord? Amen. Not just love the Lord, but love his law. Yes. Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my... Amen. Talk to me, somebody, huh? Amen. Yes, time to make the right connection. Life is filled with people, places, and things that make the wrong connection. I, for the most part, live by myself. Once my aide leaves in the morning, I'm there at the house by myself, and I pretty much can do anything I want to do. I was well trained by Robert Louis John All right. I pretty much can make it up, pretty much can cook by myself. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm not the only person in America that's blind. Amen. Hello? Amen. I found out 11 years ago when I went blind that 
I wouldn't own a person blind. They got a blind folks working on a job. They got, I wouldn't own them. They got blind folks doing everything. They're driving, y'all won't give me no license. <laughs> and some of y'all got eyes. Well, they don't need that long. <laughs> you know, some guys, huh? Yeah. So I pretty much can do anything that I want to do at that house. I'm not scared to stay by myself. Some of y'all scary. <laughs> scared to stay by yourself. Every little creek. You know, one day when I'm not scared, now I'm not scared. But that ice may go off in that freezer, and I was wondering who was in that room, who was in that kitchen. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Huh? Yeah. But the only thing at the house that I really don't do is vacuum. Amen. I'll do it, I'll sleep, I'll do anything else in the house I don't want to do. But I don't fool with electricity because mm -hmm. I don't want to make the wrong connection. Amen. Hello, somebody, huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. It's very important in life that we make the right connection. Connection. Uh -huh. This certain woman, and I will listen to that. Certain. It's good to be certain. Now, folk don't like certain. They don't like confident. Mm -hmm. Huh? But this lady had a certain air about herself. She was certain in who she was. She was certain about her life. She was certain about her situation. A certain woman. But she had an issue. People in the world today have issues. Yeah. Yeah. You live in this sanctuary on the side of my voice this morning. You have issues. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Huh? Issues in the home. Issues in your health. Yeah. Issues on the job. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Uh, issues yeah. in your neighborhood. Yeah. Issues in your family. Yeah. Issues. Yeah. Everybody say issues. Issues. The certain woman had an issue. Yes. Hers was in her health area. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Uh, she had been suffering with this thing for 12 years. Yeah. 12 years yeah. suffering with this issue. Hello, yeah. somebody. My yeah. uh, looked like it wasn't going to go away. Modern medicine, she went to doctors and, and uh, spent all she had. Yes. She didn't have Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> spent all she had, and, and it's bad to spend your money and you don't get better. Yes, right. Now, you can spend your money if you look at, if you get better, but it's a bad thing to spend all your money and you're not getting better. Yes, right. huh? You're not getting any help. Hello, somebody. Yeah. My God. The scripture says, Mark records, that instead of her getting better, she grew worse. worse. My God. Some of you with your issue today, your situation, your circumstance. You may be certain what your address is. You may be certain about what your name is. You may be certain about how many fingers and how many toes you have on your body. My God. Hallelujah. But your situation and your issue. My God, you may be coming to church, you may be reading your Bible, you may be wearing a cross, but your issue, instead of getting better, is getting worse. Woo, my God. That's a bad situation. Hello, somebody. Amen. Then you need to look at that and make up in your mind that something's got to change. Yes. Something's got to happen. Yes. It's time to make a right connection. Maybe you got the wrong connection. Maybe that is something hindering you and holding you back. Maybe there's something in the way. Maybe there's something between your soul yeah. and your Savior. Right. Clap your hand and tell the Lord thank you. Yeah. Instead of a situation getting better, it got worse. Yeah. But at some point in time, you got to stop, look, and listen. You got to think about it. Yeah. What is going on here? Yeah. What can I do to make it better? Uh -huh. Somewhere down the line, I don't know. I don't know if she was at Freeport Clinic, Freeport Memorial Hospital, St. Joseph. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. But somewhere down the line, she heard about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have anybody in this room tonight, this morning, that has ever heard about Jesus? Yeah. Look at somebody in terms of Jesus makes the difference. She heard about Jesus. Yeah. Dr. Bombay and Dr. Zimzim wasn't working. All right. Huh? Madam Zuzu and all of that wasn't working. 
But she heard that there was a stranger in the city yeah. and he was healing. Yeah. Anybody need healing this morning? Yeah. Oh, look at somebody said Jesus makes the difference. Jesus makes the difference. She heard about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she knew according to the custom of the Mosaic law. That she was not supposed to be out in public. Yes, sir. So she tried to figure out a way in her mind to get to Jesus. All right. I'm hoping that's why you came to church today. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't come to see me. Yeah. You didn't come to see Pastor. All right. But hopefully you came to church today. Yes. To try to make a connection with Jesus. Yeah. The lyrics to the song said this evangelist song. Uh -huh. It said, Ask the Savior to help you. Yeah. Comfort, strengthen, and keep. Yeah. Jesus is able. Yeah. Do I have everybody on this side to know Jesus is able? Yeah. Lift your hand and say he's able. Yeah. Do I have everybody on this side to know that Jesus is able? Yeah. Look at somebody and say he's able. Yeah. Jesus is able. Jesus is able. And he'll carry. Looking unto, 
looking up to You 
know because you came to church today. The way is made. And somebody called it. Yes. You gotta catch on by faith. That's right. Yes. You don't see it. Yes. You don't know how to get it doesn't make any sense. Let me tell you something that's not supposed to. Because God is in control. Yes. I don't know those five people do it again. Lift your hands and look up to heaven and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. For the way being made. And the way being made. And the door being opened. Applaud God for what he's doing in your life. Yes. Put your hands in this place. Yes, Lord. You won't leave your life you came. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Now I'm oppressed, afflicted. Sick away. For the presence of the Lord is still the same. You won't leave here like you came. You won't leave you like you came. You won't leave you like you came in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord. Everybody. Thank the Lord. It's over. It's over. It won't 
But you can come all the way from Texas and you want people to say something to us. Say something to us. Give it back to us. 